Hi everyone, <clears throat> I'm back and uh, <laughs> that's been a long time, I know. But what I've been up to is I've been doing some woodworking, yeah. So I've been making these uh, kind of cool looking little pieces of wood, which I, um, there's a machine called a latte. It's a wood turning machine and you put them on there and then you have these chisels and you chisel all these things in it and it's kind of nice so I put them on these little blocks so you can set them right up but before I do that I paint them and I put some gold leaf on them and make them into some sort of an artsy thing now I've just started doing this because I had the need to do something with my hands and uh, I saw this online uh, where they made these beautiful um, well I'll show you I was had in mind but before you can make these these really small thin um, they call them finials so before I can make one you have to sort of get into it and that's why I started making these and I thought they look kind of artsy and uh, sort of antique looking it's sort of like it's you know weathered through the time and uh, I enjoy making these it, it, put, it puts your mind at ease I have a really big one here so there are three of them that will go like this you can't see it up there let's try that see this is the big one it's 44 centimeters then you have a little one and a medium one and that sort of is a set you put them somewhere and uh, I think it's kind of cool looking don't you now the machine I bought I'm gonna show you in a bit I'll show you right now okay, okay guys this is um, what I'm going for these with these sea urchins in them if you can see that see that they are really thin this is uh, awesome too which I really want to do they look really cool then this is the machine so it's not really a really big expensive thing but it does the work that I want to do then you need things like this chisels and then you got the big ones. Those are the big ones. They're really big. They're like two foot long. They have really sharp, sharp stuff on them. See that? They are really big. And then those are the little ones. And that's the machine. And that's what I'm going to be making. Okay, so the machine that I just showed you is uh, called a latte and you have them there are really expensive like thousands of dollars but you don't really need one of those really expensive ones you can just get one of those hobby hobby things and you can make all sorts of things vases and little jars and all sorts of stuff that involves sort of you know chiseling out wood and getting this beautiful pattern so it's really it's not really difficult to learn um, but it is something that if you're going to start doing this you better have a feeling that you're going to do a lot of it because you know you don't buy a machine like that just to do three of these things that's not the uh, that's not what you should be uh, going for but I sort of really like this and uh, I'm going to be selling these uh, try to sell them here in some um, shop that does the uh, the beautiful um, furniture and sort of the industrial look so I already had someone at works uh, they're willing to buy one of these sets so we'll see what happens now <clears throat> I am going to do some pouring today and the pouring I have something in mind I think I can draw it out so I'll take you with my thought process because I think that's something you guys enjoy so I'm gonna be having a canvas and I think it's going to be a, a wooden panel then I'm going to be 
later on I'm going to be pouring this on photo paper. I'm going to be doing all kinds of little swipes and then I'm going to cut them out. So out of this I'm cutting out sort of like pebbles. So then I'll be laying them on here. Some will be overlapping like you can see here. Then a little one down there, maybe a bigger one up here. Then one overlapping down here. Maybe a tiny one popped under there. One up here. You got to make it, you know, a little nice little pattern. Then when they're all stuck on there, uh, then I'm going to come in and give it a little bit of dimension. So um, these are going to be the swipes, all these. And then they're going to be put on a dark background. I'm thinking something not black, but maybe a really, really dark blue. And if I do these colors, it'll really make them pop. Then when they're all on there and it's all dry, then I'm going to come in and with a really transparent paint, I'm going to give this a little bit of shadow. So right there and right here and right here, right here. And then it'll sort of be sort of three dimensional. It'll have a little bit more depth into it. And then I'm going to cover it with uh, resin. So that's going to be really cool. So that's what I have in mind. I've been thinking about that for a long time. And I've seen a lot of st stuff that, uh, you know, just makes me want to get into it again. But I have to take it slow. The thing is, guys, I think I was really heading out for a really bad burnout. And I, I hate that word because I, I don't believe in burnouts. But I think that's just the name they give it. But I was doing way too much. Had too much going on at work. Then I had felt that I had to do a lot of videos in the weekend. Didn't take a weekend off. I was just going, 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 going. And all of a sudden I realized, and this is for you guys out there that have the same. I wasn't sleeping that much. So I was sleeping like four and a half to five and a half hours a night. When you do that, you must realize this is really bad for your immune system. Yep. Your immune system goes way down if you don't get enough rest. And that's, you're setting yourself up to get sick again. So because I don't want to get sick again, I was figuring out how I could change that back to seven to eight hours of sleep. But that just did not work. So even if I went to bed at like nine, I didn't, well, I did sleep a little, but then I just woke up and I would be awake until one, one thirty in the morning. And I'd be right back up at 5.30. So that didn't work out. So what did I do? Yes, I did some meditating. Yeah, don't laugh. I know a lot of people don't believe in it, but I can promise you it helps. It takes about a week to get used to, but then you have the best sleep ever. And I do that with music from YouTube. If you go to YouTube and you pop in there, um, they have all these sorts of um, frequencies that help your body uh, heal itself. So you have a frequency for deep sleep. You have a frequency for your immune system. You have frequencies for everything. So if you just pop in there um, deep sleep music, that's all you have to pop in there. You'll get like 600 videos and you have to go and find something that for you is really soothing and relaxing. And right now when I put that on like bit instantly, five minutes, I am sound asleep and I sleep really well too. I'm not sure if I can show you on my watch here. There it is. Look at that. That's what I slept last night. Eight hours and 58 minutes. I'm telling you, this is, this is amazing stuff and I haven't felt better in my life. Really, I haven't. But can you imagine that? Almost nine hours and I really needed it. I'm still not totally back to where I was, but um, it's this sleep is going to help. So this is what I'm going to do and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're ready to do some uh, swipes. I did have uh, a few and I, I'm sure I have hundreds uh, upstairs. I, sh I really like this with these uh, stripy things in them because I think this will look like a stone because they're going to look like stones. 
but I also like the ones with uh, a lot of cells in them so I'll just see what happens I just might you know finish one tomorrow make two but we're gonna do some swipes I'm not sure if I can still do swipes because I've been, <laughs> been on a vacation for so long oh guys and I gotta tell you uh, next weekend I'm going to my island my beautiful island Amland yep just booked it yesterday so I'll be gone for another weekend well two weekends because we're leaving on Saturday and coming back on Saturday uh, but that's okay I might do something on Sunday who knows and I have a week off after that so I can do a lot of stuff now I just want to see if I can get something Ooh, I do need a torch don't I yes I do where's my torch don't know where it is oh there it is I gotta get back into uh, this uh, pouring thing Ooh, that's pretty those are some nice ones see that has a nice dark side to it so it might even make a really pretty stone maybe I'll just take this bit I'm not sure but we'll see let's do another one so a little bit more of the green because I like the green put some white around it now what I'm using is uh, the Windsor & Newton paint like I always use because I like Windsor & Newton and in here is my very favorite mix I am going to um, eventually move on and try a new mix because uh, I've been uh, stuck on this one for a pretty long time oh that's nice green I like the green Ooh, that one's really pretty that one's really really nice oops you don't see it in focus there it is I like that one I can't help it I'm just a turquoise person but you already knew that but this is really nice so we're gonna keep that one and we're gonna do I think I'm gonna do one two three four five six seven eight and all in the same color and then I'll move on to something different because I think I might mix something that's really nice and dark like the first one I showed you this one this I really like somehow it doesn't have that much cells in it but it's still pretty so we're gonna put that in there some darker turquoise maybe a little bit of light blue other greenish turquoise and of course we need some dark for the contrast and I even like what's on the back of my little pellet knife yeah no not that that is okay see I got it all in the same tint so that's sort of what I'm going for although these do have a little bit of glitter on them as you can see when it the light touches it see that so I might do a few maybe the small ones with glitter because it just gives the adds the the gazazz to it now the silicone I'm using is um, you guys in in the States uh, treadmill lubricant because that's the same thickness as my silicone but silicone is silicone and I've of course I've been on uh, acrylic pouring basics my Facebook group I've been on there a while and I've seen people struggling with the cells and they just keep buying different silicones because they think it's about the silicone but really it's not if if you cannot make cells if you do this you drop a few colors on a base of white and you just take a pellet knife and you do that and you torch it if you don't get cells well I just can't believe that you won't get cells 
look at that. Let me get you in close. That's a lot of lacing and a lot of double cells. Everyone can do that, I'm pretty sure. Because it's just about the paint thickness, because it's not about which sort of silicone you're using. That's not the, uh, that's not the make or break thing. The make or break thing is the thickness of your paint. And I have like a couple, half a dozen of videos showing the, uh, showing the thickness of the paint. Maybe you got to go back and watch a little of that because it's all about the thickness. And I'm sure if you get the thickness right, and of course you don't want to wait too long before you torch because that way, you know, with swiping it's okay because you're swiping all that silicone into the paint. But if you're pouring, there you go, that is a pretty one. If you're pouring, you want to, um, don't wait too long before you torch because of course silicone is something that repels water so it's going to come to the surface and if you wait too long that's when all the silicone is already on the surface and you won't get any cells well not as much as when you torch it a little bit faster so i hope for some people that that helps there you go Ooh, a little bit more green because I really like the green. Somehow the green sort of disappears. There you go. And right back. There you go. Now there's a really pretty band of dark in here. And that's sort of what I envision these stones that they go like the lightest color you want in the middle and then on the sides that you want it a little bit darker because that makes the illusion that it's round. So I'm hoping that's going to work. And even if you don't get that, it's no problem. When you use a little bit of transparent paint, you can create that bulge with a little bit of shadowing and that's going to work out perfectly. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it rain. It's raining like crazy. This is, la I was going to start last weekend, but it got so hot again that really the weather here, something different. Okay, I'm going to push it all up here and then I'm going to pull it down. Okay, we got a whole bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, because we need eight. And I think I'm gonna make a really big one now. Although I can take pretty much big ones out of that one. But let's make one really big one. Oh, and I wanna do a, a press thingy. Wanna see how that works. I'm not sure if that's gonna work as these as pebbles, but we'll just see what happens. So we're going to push it all up and we're going to bring it all down. There you go. Now we have eight of these and that's what I needed, but I still have paint left. So I want to see if I can do a pressed one because I think that might look really cool too. A little bit of dark, a little bit of green. And a little bit of light blue. And we're going to press that on top. See when it comes out. It's coming out on this side. I sort of really like what what it does here, but I do want to torch it a little bit, just a tiny bit. See that? Just two little torches there and there. We're going to let that dry. 
We're going to do the same here. Torchy, torchy. That's it. I kind of like that too. So I'm running out of room, but we still have paint left. Making a, a slightly different one now. I'm, you know, by the way you put the paint on the paper, you'll get different effects. So this one I'm spreading out just a little bit more. Some dark. And I want some light. And I want the greenish turquoise. That's it. Yep, it's coming out on the side. Gotta make sure you don't. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty too. That's really pretty. This one. See, it already has some cells of itself. Now we already have, let's see, two, a four. We'll see what happens. Make just one more. Then I have six of these. And these are pretty big. Whoops, you're not seeing much. Sorry about that. Here we go. And one more turquoise in there. There you go. Ooh, that's dramatic. Look at that. That's really dramatic. I like that one. These are really big, so I don't think I need eight. I have six now, and that should be enough. There we go. That's enough. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this a little bit. Um, I might even put a couple of pictures of my little the the bungalow that we rented. I'll put that at the end of the video for the people interested, for the ones that are not interested. Down here, down somewhere here, there, there is a fast forward button. Please learn how to use it. <laughs> okay, guys, gotta go. Love you old pieces like always. Bye-bye.